10 Banned Candies That Can Kill, Part 2. Who doesn't love candies? How many times have you watched Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when you were young and hoped something similar would happen in real life too? But did you know that some of the candies which used to be our favorite, some of which were really popular, were villains and potential murderers? Since you all loved our video, 10 Banned Candies That Can Kill, today we bring you Part 2. So if you haven't watched it already, make sure you do that because even if the ban on these candies is lifted someday, you would really want to avoid them. Do you know why? Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Stay Wise. In today's video, we're going to take a look at 10 banned candies that can kill part two. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. All right then, let's dive in. Number one, Fun Dip. In the movie Willy Wonka, the candy maker delights children with his everlasting gobstoppers and scrum diddlyumptious chocolate bars. This is what Fun Dip does, but in an evil way. Would you want to have high blood sugar imbalance? Would you like a fun trip to the dentist now and then? Okay, here you go, grab a Fun Dip. You can't technically grab it. It's banned, and even if you get a chance to, please don't eat it. Fun Dip candy is basically a sweet stick that can be dipped into the powder-like substance in the packet. The primary constituent of this candy is sugar, amounting to 90% of the content. And the rest of the candy is made up of artificial flavors and colors. One snack size pouch supplies 13 grams of sugar. You might as well just dip your tongue directly into the bowl of the white powdery thing. Number two, Chinese medicine candy. These candy makers offer you sweets that can function as medicine. Feeling full of down, depression, anger, or frustration? Well, China's candy makers have the right cure for you, as they claim. On the popular e-commerce site known as Taobao, numerous vendors have popped up selling medicine that claims to cure many such ailments. These candies just don't cure a garden variety of unhappiness-related issues. Still, some of them actually promise to give you a long life without aging and better luck with the ladies. If that's not stupid enough for you, this candy medicine costs just 7 won, which is over $1 per bottle. And as you might have predicted, these candies are hazardous for our mental and physical health. China's Food and Drug Administration issued a notice telling consumers to steer clear of such items, often packaged in white bottles that wouldn't look out of place in a pharmacy. This candy is not sweet, it is not edible, and should no way be consumed by a child. Then why would they name it candy? Anyway, moving on. Number 3. Nestle Magic Ball these candies were quite famous throughout the 1990s. If you're a Gen Z, your parents might remember this. And to the boomers and millennials in the audience, hey there, do you guys miss this chocolate? So the Nestle Magic Ball was basically a chocolate ball with a plastic toy embedded in the middle. Toys are generally of the Pokemon or Disney variety, typical kid stuff, like the ones we get with Kinder Joy now. However, these sweet treats are illegal. The sale of a candy that has a trinket or a toy embedded in it which is a non-nutritive, non-edible object, is banned in the United States of America, according to the 1938 Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. The major issue concerned with Nestle Magic Ball was that children might not understand the difference between the chocolate and the toy, leading to a choking hazard. Without parent supervision, consuming this can be highly dangerous. For example, there have been several instances worldwide where injuries have happened because of swallowing the plastic figurines. Number 4. So much sugar or candy corn. Now this is another sticky, sugary, full of fake ingredients treat. Please don't get us wrong, we are all for the good candies. We're not Willy Wonka's dentist father, but this sugar treat is quite dangerous. For many people, Halloween isn't right without candy corn. However, from an honest dietary standpoint, these candies are more likely a trick than a treat. Most of the natural ingredients the candies claim to have are actually replaced by artificial and chemical versions of it due to cost cutting in production and the need for more profit. Even brands that list real honey as an ingredient contain 28 grams of sugar and several artificial colors in just one serving of 19 pieces. This leads to blood level imbalance, type A diabetes, and causes similar health issues. These candies are chewy, and candy corn may also stick to your teeth, raising the risk for cavities and creating long-term dental problems. Number 5. Valentine's Day Candy Hearts All of us have waited impatiently for the 14th of February 
wanting to gift candies, teddy bears, and cars to our crushes. No matter how old school and cringeworthy that sounds now, it has a special place in our hearts. Now, you ask, what harm could come from small candy hearts with such romantic sayings as be mine and love you? Well, it turns out these candies are not that innocent because they're reported to cause hyperactivity. Many elementary schools have banned children from handing out these candies in classrooms on Valentine's Day, thinking all of that sugar in the candy could make the kids harder to control. However, studies that address long-term health issues these candies potentially have is still going on. Number six, Three Musketeers. In today's episode of a clever marketing ploy for dangerous candies, we have Three Musketeers. The Three Musketeers were marketed as a lighter way to enjoy chocolate. Lighter than what, you ask? We're not quite sure, but one thing is quite sure, these candies are heavier in terms of causing health issues. A single candy bar has five grams of saturated fat and more sugar than three Krispy Kreme donuts. Hydrogenated palm kernel oil, or palm oil, was listed as an ingredient. Did you know that 80% of the fat in palm kernel oil is saturated? Saturated and trans fats are to be avoided at all costs, if you didn't know that already. Number seven, Smarties, also known as Rockets. This ban is based on what school in the USA you go to. For example, if you go to Scarborough Middle School in Maine, USA, you obviously will not see them. Apart from that location, other schools over the years, students have been caught snorting crushed Smarties. Yeah, you heard that right the first time, snorting. Kids actually go to the back of their classrooms, crush up a couple of Smarties, and sniff them up. Is that not scary? Imagine kids trying to do everything like adults, though a different substance. This must be worrying. The candy and act of snorting are pretty ridiculous, but it has health risks, like any other powder going up your nose in all seriousness. This includes asthma attacks, long-term breathing problems, and nasal maggots, which are rare, but no one denies the possibility. Number eight, one of Milky Way's variety. The amount of sugar in this candy bar must be out of this world. These candy bars come in fun size packets containing smaller bites, which should help with portion control. However, a serving of these smaller bars still contains almost around 21 grams of sugar. They have hydrogenated palm kernel oil, which is extremely bad for our hearts, the climate, and orangutan survival. Plus, the caramel and nougat are prime candidates for sticking to your teeth and causing cavities. Number nine, Sour Patch Kids. Naturally colorful foods are highly nutritious, be it fruits or vegetables, but Sour Patch Kids, which claims to be colorful and healthy, definitely don't grow on trees. Their fruity flavors and colors are not actually derived from actual fruits. The Sour Patch Kids' major constituents are sugar, corn syrup, and these sweet and tart candies also contain artificial flavors and colors. Even though the United States Food and Drug Administration maintains that artificial additives like yellow five are safe, as the study in the candies is progressing and science is mixed, some food companies respond to consumer concerns by removing these food dyes and turning to natural alternatives. Number 10, Hershey's Take Five. In the event that you haven't had enough artery damaging trans fats by the end of Halloween night, look no further than Hershey's Take Five. Did you know partially hydrogenated vegetable oil is a major trans fat source and falls in the top half of Hershey's Take 5 lengthy ingredient list? Made mostly of sugar and refined flour, which is in the pretzels, one bar pack of this candy gives you 18 grams of sugar and a quarter of the daily value for inflammatory saturated fat. However, because of severe backlash and against such dangerous products like Nestle, the company is working towards using non-GMO products in their kisses and chocolate milk products. They will also be removing artificial flavors, colors, and high fructose corn syrup in the future. 